the given expression is cos of 2 times cos inverse x plus sin inverse x. Now let 2 times cos inverse x be equal to theta and let sin inverse x be equal to phi. Therefore the given expression can be written as cos of theta plus phi. This is equal to cos theta cos phi minus sin theta sin phi. Now theta is equal to 2 times cos inverse x as assumed above. Therefore x is equal to cos of theta upon 2. Now cos of theta is equal to 2 times cos square theta upon 2 minus 1 which is therefore equal to 2x square minus 1. Sin theta which is equal to square root of 1 minus cos square theta is therefore equal to square root of 1 minus 2x square minus 1 whole square. This is equal to root of 1 minus in brackets 4x raised to the power 4 minus 4x square plus 1 which is equal to square root of minus 4x raised to the power 4 plus 4x square which is equal to square root of 4x square times 1 minus x square. Therefore sin theta simplifies to 2x times square root of 1 minus x square. Now we have assumed above that phi is equal to sin inverse x. Therefore x is equal to sin phi. And therefore cos phi which is equal to square root of 1 minus sin square phi is equal to square root of 1 minus x square. Plugging in the values of cos theta, sin theta, cos phi and sin phi obtained above the given expression which is cos of 2 times cos inverse x plus sin inverse x or cos of theta plus phi is equal to 2x square minus 1 times root of 1 minus x square minus 2x times square root of 1 minus x square times x. Taking square root of 1 minus x square common, this is equal to square root of 1 minus x square times in brackets 2x square minus 1 minus 2x square. 2x square cancels inside the brackets and the value of the given expression simplifies to minus of square root of 1 minus x square. Therefore the value of the given expression when x is equal to 1 upon 5 is equal to minus of square root of 1 minus 1 upon 25 which is equal to minus square root of 24 upon 5 which is the required answer.